Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Luke, why are you posting an updated camera settings guide? And you know what? I'm just gonna come clean on this one. There's something deeply satisfying about like making a video and putting 2023 in the title just so I can go read the comments about people who are saying, didn't know we were in 2023 yet. <laughs> but no, the actual reason I'm making this video is because over the past month, I've actually experimented with changing my camera settings. And since I posted my last setting, guide, I've actually found this new set of settings that I like way better. And so in this video, I want to basically answer the question for any of you all watching, what are the best settings? So I'll be breaking down why I chose my settings as well as the most common pro binds. So by the end of the next five or six minutes, you'll know exactly what you should set your settings to, and you won't have to worry about tinkering with these at all. Also, Luke from the future here, and for those of you who didn't see it, I can now announce it. I am officially going to be partnering with apparently Jack. From here on out, Jack and I are going to be teaming up to actually coach. For those of you who don't know, I run Rocket League's largest live coaching program. It's called the Grand Champ Roadmap, where we take players like you, who are plat through champ, up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. So I hit up Jack, and now he's going to be joining to help take our top ranking players up from Grand Champ to SSL and even competition level play. We actually already sold out our first 10 slots in our inner circle program, but if you're below Grand Champ or you want to get on our wait list to work with us, DM me on Discord down below with the keyword Jack and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, let's talk camera settings. Okay, so jumping straight into the settings, I'll get to the two settings that have changed as we go through here. But basically, I'm just going to go rapid fire. I'll explain what it is, how it works, and what you should do with it as quickly as possible. I'll also have linked in the description a website called Liquipedia. And basically, this site lists out all the common pro settings. So as I go, if you're ever confused or there's just one that you're not sure about, um, you can definitely check Liquipedia and see what you like best from there. But uh, yeah, jumping straight into it, the first setting at the top of my page you'll see here is called camera preset. Now you may not see this on your account. And if you don't, the reason is because this camera preset button is limited to those people with Bacchus Mod. If you don't know, Bacchus Mod is a PC plugin. So if you're console, don't worry about this. But basically what the camera preset option does is it just allows you to select pro settings like the ones over on Liquipedia instantly. Play with this if you want, but I'd recommend actually just following through and setting each each one of these settings individually for yourself. The first actual setting though, I guess, is camera shake. If you have this toggled on, just turn it off. If any of your friends are over and they see you using camera shake, it's a, that they're going to make fun of you. Um, but moving on, field of view. Field of view is the first real setting. And for this one, recently, some pros have been experimenting with 108 or 109. But basically, you should set field of view to 110. I'll just tell you straight away. What field of view actually does, it controls how wide of an angle, how much you can see on the edges of your screen. Rocket League is a game where you want information. So the more you can see, the better. Set it to 110 and you'll be set. Camera distance. Distance is a subjective setting, but basically what it controls controls is how far back the camera actually sits relative to the back of your car. Now, from what I've seen, 270 is the most common setting for this. Now, I have seen some pros use between 260 and 280, but nearly everyone, including myself, uses 270. And honestly, I just think 270 is the perfect balance that allows you to dribble and see the ball well when you're up close, but also be far back enough that you can properly see the field and not be too zoomed in to the point where you're getting blinded by your your car. So yeah, distance, I'd recommend set it to 270 and we'll move on to height. Camera height is something that I'm actually going to correct a little bit. In my last settings guide, I said camera height between 90 and 110 is good. But now I want to adjust that a little bit. Looking at the pro settings and testing it out more for myself, really the only two options that I recommend and that I really like for camera height are 90 or 100. Reason being is because basically what camera height does is it controls how high up or down the camera actually sits behind your car. And 110 at least just feels a little bit bit too high for me personally when it comes to dribbling. You're probably going to want your camera lower, especially if you are a ones or twos main, because at that point, you don't really need to see into the air all that much. Moving on to camera angle. This is one of the two settings that I actually changed recently and that I've really liked 
my new bind. Recently, I've moved down from negative four to negative three, and I'll explain why in a second. Basically, angle controls how much tilt you have looking downwards at your car. That might sound a little bit confusing, but the takeaway is, at least from what I've seen, is that a lower angle is gonna be better for threes, and it's really common that you'll see pros use negative five or negative four, whereas a higher angle is gonna be better for ones and twos. I've noticed that my actual ground touches and like my bounce dribbling, for example, has improved a lot as I've moved my angle from negative four to negative three. So if you're mainly ones and twos and that's something you wanna improve as well, I definitely would recommend negative three with what I have. But of all the settings, this is definitely the most subjective. So at the end of the day, anything between negative three and negative five is going to be good for angle. Moving on to stiffness. Stiffness, I'm not going to spend much time on. This one is basically completely personal preference. All stiffness does is it controls how much your car shrinks or expands as you drive faster. So if you have a low stiffness and you're accelerating to supersonic, your car is gonna like speed warp a lot. It's gonna shrink as you go. Whereas if you have a stiffness of one, your car isn't gonna change size at all. There are people on all ends of the spectrum. I mean, I know Arsenal likes a very low stiffness. I know Lethemir, for example, likes a very high stiffness. He plays on literally 1.0. But for most people, you're gonna wanna fall like pretty dead in the middle. I recommend anything between negative 0.4 and negative 0.6. I personally use negative 0.5 and honestly i think that works for almost everyone okay next up swivel speed swivel speed basically controls how quickly moving your right joystick will move your camera so the way i like to think about it is it's sort of like camera sensitivity but swivel speed is something that i've actually increased and now i like a lot more for the average person, I don't think swivel speed matters that much. I recommend you move it higher up because then you just don't have to use your joystick as much. But I will say, especially for higher ranked players, as you get better and better, your camera is something that you're going to want to use more and more. So if you can just get in the habit of using it with a high sensitivity, I'd recommend it. And while we're on the topic of swivel speed, I actually also want to mention the invert swivel button because a lot of people don't know how this works. So super quick, just to explain it if you put invert swivel it'll basically mean down looks up and up looks down and from what i found that's kind of confusing at least for me so what i recommend you do is uncheck invert swivel that way when you push down on your joystick you look down and when you push up on your joystick you look up and then finally the last and probably least important setting if i'm going to be honest is transition speed transition speed just controls how quickly you switch between ball cam and car cam you may have seen some pros where when they press ball ball cam, it instantly cuts to the ball or instantly cuts back to their car. That means their transition speed is like maxed out. From what I found though, that's honestly really disorienting. So what I recommend you do is put this between one and 1.2 on the higher end. Wouldn't really go much past that unless you're an absolute madman and you just like spamming the ball cam car cam button before kickoffs, which now that I think about it, you know, I kind of like doing too. Okay, so those were all my updated camera settings. Hopefully that was helpful. If you still do have more questions about this stuff, the best place to ask them is probably gonna be in my private training Discord. I'll have it linked down below. It's completely free to join and you can always leave whenever you want. Everybody's super helpful there and we have tons of free stuff we give away. But uh, yeah, other than that, if you're a new viewer who watched this, thank you so much for watching. I've got more content like this that I'll have linked on screen if you have any more questions. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace guys.